This is a tardigrade, which on top of being probably the absolute minimum size to be considered cute, is also nearly indestructible. They're famous for being able to be completely dried out for decades and then rehydrated like nothing happened. And in that dry state, they can survive hot, cold, radiation, or the vacuum of space and treat it all the way that we treat a beach day tan. But their indestructibility isn't why we're talking about them today. Instead, scientists used these amazing animals as test subjects and figured out how to give them super tiny tattoos. Now, obviously, they couldn't use a traditional tattoo needle, so instead they needed to try something else. The way this worked is that the team first froze the tardigrades and stuck them into an electron microscope. Now, we've been able to make tiny patterns with electron beams for decades, but trying this directly on the tardigrade will cut them to ribbons. But the scientists don't want to mill into the tardigrade, they want to pattern materials on the surface of the tardigrade. So the team figured if they could just coat the tardigrade in a thin layer of ice, they could reduce the energy that went into the tissue and deposit more of the energy just into the very surface of the sample. The trick, though, is that they didn't use water ice for this. They used a chemical called anisol, which is the smell of anise. Because of this, when the electron beam hits the anisol, it causes it to crosslink and form a new polymer which gets stuck to the outside of the tardigrade. They were able to make a lovely polka dot tardigrade as a demonstration of the technology, but are hoping to extend the technique to even tinier targets like bacteria. By subbing out what ice ink they're using, they can pattern different chemicals onto the surface of whatever they're interested in, even down to the 20 nanometer scale. And extending the technique to full 3D printing is totally possible. But at least for now, there's a long line of tardigrades waiting to get their first ink that are going to be the talk of the tiny town. But if they get tiny 3D printing figured out, Terry the tardigrade needs a tiny top hat.